Hi, it's Julian Meller, Easy Swinging Golf Coach. This weekend I received uh, an email from uh, a guy in Australia. I don't think I've ever read a more complex email in all my life. There must have been 15 questions about the golf swing on there and about how you start the golf swing, what initiates the downswing, where should the fastest point in the golf swing be, what should I do with my weight, should, what should I do with my left arm, should my thumb be in a certain position within the golf swing, you name it, those questions were in there. I just can't understand how we're able to play golf with that many swing thoughts going through our head. Uh, and I know, unfortunately, I've been there and I, I used to teach that way. I used to be a very complex teacher of the golf swing. But since I discovered the Easy Swing in Golf and through Brian Sparks, um, his knowledge and, and helping simplify it, I just thought I'd make this video to clarify the three deadly don'ts within the Easy Swing in Golf and the six principles which ultimately turn into a feeling and really you want the feeling when you go to a golf course not 15 swing thoughts going through your head I mean, we've all been there we're all you know we're looking on YouTube now probably and we're looking for the answer um, you have a natural golf swing within you I would like to help you discover it by maybe taking away the things that are stopping you swinging well and also taking away some of the complexity that's in the golf swing. So let's think about our three deadly don'ts first that, that the Easy Swing Golf Coaches um, like to avoid. So deadly don't number one, do not keep your head down. Don't keep your head down through impact. It's about the worst thing you can ever do with your body. It leads to, to poor movement in the golf swing, it leads to restriction, um, you'll see there that the body starts to collapse. It can make you hit the ground before the ball. You can top it. You can hit the golf ball too high. You can hook it. You name it. A myriad of things come from that one fault. So the ideal scenario, if you remember, you may have seen this on the other videos before. As soon as you hit the golf ball, go with it without hesitation. Yeah. As soon as you hit it, move with it. Number two deadly don't for us left arm straight or if you're right-handed don't keep that left arm straight the reason we don't like that to happen is tension is the number one enemy in the golf swing and if your arm is straight it's going to be locked up allow that arm to soften and if it bends a little bit that's absolutely fine with us and our deadly don't number three is don't keep your lead foot pinned to the floor so left-handed right-handed doesn't matter so your front foot don't keep that pinned to the floor because of how poor the quality of movement is going to be, especially if you're a senior golfer. So what we say is allow your ankles to move freely in the golf swing. Yeah, don't keep it pinned. Can you see what happens to my knee? Then you'll, you, you might even see this reverse pivot going on from here. From there you'll back off and then people tell you you've lifted your head up, which isn't true. Just allow your ankles to move nice and freely in the golf swing. So now let's recap our six principles, but ultimately we want those to turn into a feeling, not six swing thoughts. So principle number one is turning. Don't be afraid to turn. I'm sure it was Bobby Jones once said, one in 5,000 golfers turn enough. <coughs> Don't be afraid to turn in your back swing talk about people um, coming over the top well quite commonly because they don't turn enough in the backswing they tend to lift they're already over the top and then they come over the top a little bit more on the downswing so if we turn freely this should put you in a nice place at the top of your backswing we don't really talk about positions to be honest it's a flowing movement so I'm not too worried about over the top if we turn correctly number two weight shift See how the body shift, uh, how the weight is shifting from one foot to the other. So starts off pretty central, moves to the right, moves to the left. Great little practice, just actually lifting your foot off, and you'll see there that the weight is shifting. So in my takeaway, 
weight shifted to the right, weight shifted to the left. So there's a weight shift. Number three, rhythm. Your best rhythm. So if we practice this exercise, as I've said many times before, I rehearse this easily a hundred times a day. But you see there, my rhythm's pretty good. Another way, if you lose your rhythm, very simple exercise, just letting this move, so it's back, through, back, through. See how my body is moving in rhythm with the golf club. So what you don't want is to be fighting this. Go with it, your best rhythm. So turn back, turn through. Try not to rush that. Number four, coordination. So again, if, just to recap, what is coordination? Two things happen, the body turns right and the body turns left is one. The club swings backwards, the club swings forwards is two. Let's put those two together and the whole movement starts to look coordinated. Keep my head down, look what happens. See the body stops, the arm, the club head overtakes the body. That can cause uh, a lot of shots to go left if you have that problem. Number five, balance. I'm in lovely balance. So when I swing, holding a balance finish. So again, commonly you'll see if your people keep their head down, they're forced off balance. That's just momentum pulling you off balance. So move freely. And our sixth thing, suplex. Let's keep it relaxed. Tension's the number one enemy of the golf swing. Let's keep that body nice and relaxed. I'll just strike a couple of shots just to finish, just so we can piece all this together. So nice and relaxed. Try another one. Very simple, nice and smooth. Cracker, let me try one more. Yeah, so nice balanced golf swings, those were quite nice shots to be honest. Um, as always, if you've got any questions, drop me a line, look at juliemellagolfschool.com. Please subscribe to my channel, uh, like and share if, uh, if you're finding these helpful. Thanks for watching, bye.